Hey everybody, welcome back to Dave's Open Range. We're in our secondary kitchen, this time in southern Indiana. So we're making a little bit of a southern, um, at least southern Indiana, if not southern U.S. dessert called sugar cream pie. These are the ingredients, and uh, hey look, some homemade vanilla, you know how to do that. And you've heard me yammer about technique before, but this one really is about technique, not just the ingredients, because that's all the ingredients. It's pretty straightforward. Cornstarch, sugar, butter, a can of, uh, a can of evaporated milk, but that brand right there is a little bit important, and it, it's in most groceries, but if you can't find it, find it. You can use carnation too, but that's a little bit better. It's got a little bit different texture and um, flavor. So pre-made pie crust, we don't need to talk about that. So um, yeah, that's my lead in. And uh, like I said, if you really want to make this, watch till the end because there's a, a bit of technique and patience involved. Otherwise it won't set up, it won't work. It's a little bit like a pudding pie, a little bit like a custard pie, but there's no eggs. And so uh, what you see right there is all that's in it. And we're making extra healthy pie because there's a whole stick of butter in it. But uh, yeah, stay tuned till the end. Okay, so in goes the cup of sugar. No, we're not on the stove top yet. Not quite a cup. But Obviously not quite a cup of sugar. Kind of a lot of cornstarch. How much is that? Third of a cup. Third of a cup of cornstarch. Doesn't matter the brand and stuff. And we're gonna mix that together. We got a sous chef today. Rookie. His name is Sue. So cornstarch to sugar. And then we're uh, here. butter and milk. Again, um, it's a little bit important to use that brand and not the non-fat, but that brand called Milnot. I bought it on um, Amazon. I've got it at more or less the big name groceries. A cup of water. A cup of water, a can of water, which is loosely a cup. Well, yeah, it's a little over. That's a over cup. Makes it easy this way. And then uh, the trick here now is to cook it pretty slow. We're not making that today, that's a different day. So in goes the stick of butter and we'll get it started and then we'll, uh, we'll tune out for a little bit while this warms up over the course of five or 10 minutes. But whole stick of real butter, not margarine. And then we're gonna bring that up to temperature pretty slowly. That's why you gotta be patient and whisk it fairly continuously, not 100%, but Pretty continuously. That butter's not right out of the fridge. It's a little bit soft, but that wouldn't matter. It didn't matter. Just... So, all right, we're gonna uh, let this come up to temperature a little bit and uh, check back in in um, a few minutes. All right, we are back uh, with the next step here. It's been about, uh, not about, it's been four minutes. I'm watching the clock. The butter just melted in that can of mill knot and water, and in goes the sugar and cornstarch. Little known fact, those, those of you guys that might not know, every state has an official bird, an official tree, an official this, that, and the other, but it also has an official pie. And uh, in my state, Wisconsin, I'm pretty sure the official pie is cherry. Here, the official pie is this one in Indiana. Uh, I believe it's called sugar cream pie. Sometimes bourbon sugar cream pie, you can throw a splash of, uh, you know, a tablespoon or two of good bourbon in at the very end. Instead of that, we're gonna do vanilla at the very end. You know, vanilla is volatile, so if you put it in now, you'd cook off all the flavors. So put it, putting the vanilla in the very last minute. We is, stir this to a bubble. It's important. So, so it gets a bubble and it starts to set, and then we add the vanilla. So of course the cornstarch is going to be the thickening agent, not completely unlike a gravy. Not that this is a gravy, but so coming Custardy. up the temperature kind of slow. If we're on uh, medium heat, maybe slightly on the low side of medium heat, but. Constant stirring, and uh, we'll tune out for a second. I'll bring you back when it starts to bubble. Final end with, when it just starts to bubble. In goes the vanilla. Pour it in the pie crust. Let it set up. We'll talk about that when we get there. But uh, we'll stir it for a few minutes, and I'll bring you back when the time comes for uh, when it's thick and for the vanilla. All right, all right. We are back. It just, 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 just bubbled a little bit, which means. Uh, Kind of sort of done you don't really want to boil it in goes it depending on how much you like vanilla we all like vanilla around these parts so maybe that's, homemade vanilla maybe that's a tablespoon or so whatever you like could be bourbon instead but uh, yeah you can't let it boil you just bubble it and shut the heat off if it boils you'll um not sure just the right term but break it apart and it won't set and it'll be a mess and pretty much stick to the bottom of the pan pretty much a no-go and a waste so uh, 
I just like at the very end goes the vanilla because like I said it's volatile you can't put it in too early and in it goes to a pre-made uh, blind baked crust and uh, it'll be more than enough and you have some for the custard. A little custard dish. Now you gotta let this set at room temperature for a handful of hours to set up and, and I personally like to put it in the fridge after it's cooled off you can't put it in the fridge like that way too hot but uh, after a couple hours or three or four put it in the fridge even overnight is then you wake up and it's really nice and firm you don't want a runny pie when you cut it and then uh, we'll sprinkle a little nutmeg on there if you don't like nutmeg use cinnamon or use nothing but um, that's sugar cream pie hope you like that quick video or maybe perhaps not so quick a little nutmeg. but uh, yeah, thanks for hanging in until the end, and um, that makes two or three food videos in a row, so maybe next time we'll do something outside or uh, in the bike shop. You never know on Dave's Open Range. It helps to make a smiley face. That always makes the pie taste better with dimples. <laughs> all right, we'll see you all next time.